Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am swatching these five from Sephora. It is the Lip Story Collection. I only have five. They had like a million. They're very inexpensive. I think they were about $8 a piece and I had never tried Sephora before or Sephora's own brand of anything. I know, that's kind of crazy considering I order from Sephora a lot but I just have never tried their brand. So I thought, okay, I'll pick up a couple of these, see how they swatch, how do they do, and you know, kind of go from there. If you live in a dry area, you're gonna love these things. Oh my gosh. Or during winter, you're gonna love these things. Or if you just like your lips to feel amazing, kind of like they're, they've just been kissed with butter you're gonna want these things also. So these are really quite a surprise. I, I bought these a while ago, but I just, you know, hadn't tried them out. Mm -mm. I just hadn't tried them out. And what a pleasant, pleasant, shocking surprise of, about these. So A, they are, again, very creamy in nature. They go on really well. I bought three that could be more kind of nude colors. So I have the gold one on my lips right now and the gold one is called No Cell Service. Each one of these went on very easy. I think each one of these could be built up and the colors kind of changed a little bit depending on what you use as a lip liner. So again, absolutely love these three. And these three are, um, this one is a metal No Cell Service. This one is a cream tan lines and this one is a matte which is called um, love love so those three are fantastic then i went in with a metal that is silver called uh just add tinsel and then i went in with a matte which is woof and that is a black one so again i went in with some metals some matte some creams they all have a very creamy texture to them. They feel amazing on the lips. I can see keeping these three in my purse no matter what. The silver and the black are probably more for holidays, um, but I still love these. These are amazing. I don't think the bank would really like me wearing silver or black to work. I mean, I just don't see it. Fun haters. Just kidding. But anyways, I really got a kick out of these. So I'm definitely going to, I keep kind of my favorite go-tos right in this section right here. Those are the ones that I know work very well. I can just pick them up as I'm getting ready for work. So if these three don't end up in my purse for daily use, they will definitely be right here. Again, the price was fantastic. It was $8. I don't see these having long-term staying power because they wipe off really, really easy. I mean, really easy. So you do need to know that this is going to be a lippy that you are going to have to continually uh, put on. But again, it feels amazing on the lips. So if you do have dry lips, live in a dry area, it's winter, or you just like a more creamy feel on your lip and you don't mind touching up throughout the day, these are definitely for you and again they're so inexpensive so if you want to see how i swatch just these five stay tuned so for this color for sephora with the lip stories this is called love love i love the little footprints on the beach these are so cute and so i'm really excited to swatch these because they they just had great colors um, and so I'm looking forward to seeing what these colors look like. How, what does that feel like on the lips? So here we go. Ooh. This formula is incredibly creamy, extremely, extremely creamy. So this feels amazing and it kind of really matches the color up here that i have in my eyeshadow which is kind of a nice surprise i i love it so this is again the lip stories called love love i love the packaging on these lippies so this one lip stories is called tan lines it's got a cute package of the beach uh it says tie bar 
fish restaurant, surf club. The outside on this packaging is just absolutely adorable. So we're going to get into this color. I love this color. Okay, so what is great about this one, it's not as orange, let's say, as the packaging. So that was exciting for me because I, I wasn't sure that I would really like something that kind of orangish, but I was willing to try because I do like the peach colors. But look, it does have a great shine to this lip. And again, it's just so buttery. The great piece to having something like this is you could build it up with different lip liners it this is just going to be an amazing amazing lip this i should have had during winter or these i should have had during winter because they are so soft and creamy they feel amazing and i love how it's got a little bit of shine so it's almost like you've got lip gloss on without having lip gloss i don't like lip gloss but i love that it picks up a beautiful shine so this color here is called <laughs> I mentioned the grays and the blacks. Um, so I did try the tinsel color and now we have the color woof. This one is black. Yes, it is black, but I have two pugs or as I call them the puggles as nephews. So this lipstick had to come home with me regardless because I love my nephews, the puggles. This one I like because it looks like it's very matte. We're going to see how this goes. I'm guessing I can use one of my black eyeliners as a lip liner. Same creamy formula. Feels amazing. I might look like I could be a rock singer for maybe a backup doo-wop doo singer for Kiss. How about that? A little doo-wop with the, the old band Kiss. That would be absolutely a hysterical combination. But I'm ready for Halloween with this black lippy. And again, it's because I have Puggles as nephews. So this one had to come home with me just because of the Puggles. Hi, Puggles. Okay, last we are going to use a metallic. This one is called No Cell Service. It's got like an old vintage cafe sign. Looks like um, some of the old signs on some uh, freeways in California in the desert. Does, definitely still reminds me a lot of California. So this one is a metal, again, called No Cell Service. And this kind of matches actually my eyeshadow almost perfect. We'll see if it goes on the lips as pigmented. So this went on really, really pretty. It does match the eyeshadow very, very well. Um, creamy, even though it is a metallic. It doesn't feel like it has any flex. It doesn't feel drying. It actually feels really fantastic. So that is the color, no, um, excuse me, no cell service. I do hope you enjoyed the fact that I did swatch these five. If you haven't tried these lip stories by Sephora, I would say definitely look at some of these. They had an amazing color range, an absolute amazing color range. But because I wasn't sure about Sephora's brand or their own lippies, I only bought five. They're very inexpensive. I want to say I paid around $8 for each of these. So extremely inexpensive. But I'm really shocked about the quality. So the quality with the creaminess, if you like a very buttery lip, this is definitely something that you're going to like. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice. So make it a great one. Until next time.